but you worked at lar relatively large German companies as you were coming up. Then you came to America. I mean, I'm sure you had, had traveled here, but you came here to live permanently now um, in 2004, right? And what was, I mean, did you get a different type of culture shock coming here to live versus having traveled here? Uh, I, I knew America quite a big bit because the first uh, company, the company of my sponsor, family owned mm -hmm. company, um, this guy was kind of, he was of the opinion that America is the land of the free. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we acquired a company, a business in Warren, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And so my first trip to the United States was not to New York or to Miami, but to uh, Warren, Ohio. Mm -hmm. I did fly Düsseldorf, Pittsburgh, and then by car to Warren, Ohio. And uh, so uh, because of the owner, uh, the work contract, contract had expired, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the, the, the company was, uh, the business, the factory was unionized, and the owner had said, well, actually, I don't want to have a new contract. You can work here, but no contract. And so they went on strike. Mm -hmm. And my first job was basically to go there and to negotiate. Mm -hmm. And so I knew America, I knew rural America very much from the class times, mm. going to Omaha, Nebraska, and, 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 and things like that. So, and uh, I always had, I liked America a lot. Mm -hmm. My kids even more. So 9-11, I, I, I was in the process of flying to the United States, mm. uh, to Chicago to meet uh, a Caterpillar. Mm -hmm. And so, <coughs> While I was sitting in the office, we basically, my, my PR guy said, well, you need to come to my office. He was the only guy who had a TV set, and we watched basically what happened. Mm. When I came home that very same day, my kids had a flag, an American flag, out of their window mm. on half-mast. Mm. My son always had a suitcase, and the suitcase said, proud to be an American. <laughs> And I said, well, actually, do you really think that Americans like that? And he said, yes, they like it very much. So uh, in school, mm -hmm. uh, in, in German schools, you are taught English English. Yeah. My son didn't want to do that. He mm. did uh, uh, speak American English. And just to be clear, this 9-11 is before you moved here. Right? Yeah, yeah. So this is back in Germany at an American flag. So, and, right? and I took my kids uh, to the one or the other business trip, uh, mm -hmm. and, and they... We, we traveled a little bit around. We did a family vacation to the West Coast, mm -hmm. and we went to a very nice pink hotel in uh, San Francisco <laughs> they liked uh, until we figured out what the color pink me meant. And, and so <laughs> it was very clean, very safe, and I just said to my son, who was young at that time, stay always close to me. But uh, nothing happened. Uh, and so when I then, my, my wife was a teacher, and so um, when I then talked to my wife, we were in the process of moving to, to Switzerland when I said, well, actually, what's about America? She was not so much in favor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, when the family council met, all the kids said, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, and, and they're now all in Atlanta. Uh, and they're very productive. So we, I have three kids and five grandchildren. Number six <laughs> is in the pipeline. So that means... Uh, they all like the United States, yeah. and, and uh, we, therefore, yeah. it wasn't yeah. difficult for me to, yeah. to make that transition. What well, you need to understand in business, that's yeah. I, I always choose that example, um, Americans are by far more uh, submissive. Oh. Or that, uh, so that means in, in the worst uh, experience I had was in Berlin. So when you, when you were in a meeting in Berlin and then you made a proposal, the head of the union said, uh, sir, you are crazy, you don't know what, you know, you know nothing about business. And so what I learned is sometimes their input was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So you do get a very straightforward yeah. feedback and very often it's negative. Mm -hmm. In America, you don't get that. Mm. And you have to earn it. So what I always said is, if, if I would tell my uh, my management team to jump out of the window, they would do it. Fortunately, our bathroom was on the first floor, so, <laughs> <not> so, <dangerous. laughs> so that's a big cultural difference. Mm. And uh, so you're saying you got more pushback from subordinates? Yes, okay. here in America, in, in you Germany. don't get it. Yeah. Okay. Or feedback. And what do you mean by it? earning it? What do you mean by that? 
if you uh, if you react in the wrong way, so that means you <coughs> say, like my predecessor uh, always said, my door is always open, mm -hmm. which was true. Mm -hmm. If somebody came in his office, he would be out immediately, and he would really uh, uh, get a very very bad uh, uh, push. So, uh, and when you now invite your people to be constructive, to mm -hmm. disagree, mm -hmm. because you say, well, actually, I'm new to the company, I'm new to the US, mm -hmm. uh, please help me. And then you kill the first guy who comes in with a yeah. criticism, mm -hmm. uh, then that will not work. So that mm -hmm. means you need to earn it by how you handle mm -hmm. uh, feedback. Yeah. Herman Cain was very helpful in understanding mm also the southern culture, which is it's different to be here yeah. than being in New York or in Chicago or something. Yeah, I think we're um, even less direct in some ways. In the yeah, south. we are. For one thing yeah. is we are very, very polite here. We are yes. very. What I like is you come here from any country in the world, and already at the airport, people say, "How are you doing?" Mm -hmm. Or this time I came from. Uh, where did I come? Are from London. I did a trip 24 hours, mm. Atlanta, London, Atlanta. <laughs> and I was really tired, and there was a uh, black African American female uh, immigration officer, and she said, Baby, you look tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looked at my passport and said, No, that cannot be true. So they, they didn't stamp it right. And they said, Oh, it is true. Yeah. So, so this is the South. Were, were you ready for um, what I perceive to be still somewhat of a lack of a cultural understanding about the rest of the world here in the U.S. because, you know, being the largest economy, a lot of businesses can survive by just selling locally. Um, exports is always a challenge. It's always a challenge to get companies interested in exporting because it's seen as a risk. Um, was that something that caught you off guard uh, coming in to lead a company? I think Americans are much better than some of us think because mm. Facebook... Uh, Amazon, yeah. Microsoft. On the tech side, maybe. They basically export quite a bit, mm -hmm. not maybe hardware so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to own an American car outside America. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there are reasons for this, because uh, uh, American cars are very, very durable. Mm -hmm. They're easy to use, and they last long time. So therefore, uh, and they're cheap. So therefore, uh, and we, our traffic basically has adjusted to this kind, mm -hmm. or the cars have adjusted to the speeds, the speed limits here. Mm -hmm. uh, so therefore, uh, I think America is better than uh, one might think. And then also, um, Americans are good listeners. So when mm -hmm. th they ask you, so I'm on board because I, the idea is mm -hmm. they want to understand mm -hmm. a different parts of the world, and, mm -hmm. and so. Um, therefore, I'm, this has never been a big problem. Mm. And on the other hand, you know the German culture is a little bit, um, the worst are German engineers. So the, the German culture is a little bit, we know everything better. <laughs> so and, and in, in, in ECHO, that always has been a problem with the, our best brand. The world market technology leader is a German brand, Bavarian brand. And so those Bavarian engineers, most of them didn't speak even German, so they spoke <laughs> Bavarian. <laughs> and then they came here with their Bavarian access and they uh, figured out that they couldn't sell their tractors in the U.S. so much. <laughs> the Fent, reason, that's the Fent brand? Yeah, the Fent brand. And the reason is farming. In America, farmers adjust basically the wheels of the tractor and the axle width mm. to the row, to the rows. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those tractors are called row crop tractors, and Fent doesn't offer that. Mm. And so the, the Bavarian engineers met uh, many farmers, and they tried to uh, basically argue Vincent for hours superior to tell an yeah. American farmer why their way of farming is wrong. <laughs> and those were guys who were farming 20,000 uh, acres compared to a 100-acre 100, 100 farmer in Bavaria. Mm. So this is basically a German specialty. 